Okay, for number one on page 114, just going to review the definition of a polynomial function. It's f of x, and it's defined where the degrees of the exponent are in descending order. They're going from highest to lowest. Um, the first a n, um, the lead coefficient, is a number. If we take a look, the last number can be a constant, which is a base 0. And n is the degree of the polynomial. What we're asked to do is to identify whether each of the following is a polynomial function. Justify your answer. So h of x equals 2 minus root x. This is a radical function, not a polynomial function. So if we go polynomial function, no. Okay, it's a radical function. And just to double check, to justify my answer, root x equals x to the 1 half. And 1 half is not a whole number. Therefore, it's not a polynomial function. B, y equals 3x plus 1. Well, it's polynomial of degree 1, so it is a polynomial function. Leading coefficient, 3. And constant is 1. So yes, it is a polynomial function. C, f of x equals 3 to the x. Well, this is um, not a polynomial function because x is not a whole number. It has to be a whole number. So therefore, this is not a polynomial function. be an exponential function. If we take a look d, g of x equals 3x to the 4 minus 7. This is a polynomial function. It is of degree 4. Leading coefficient, 3. Constant is negative 7. P of x equals x to the negative 3 plus x squared plus 3x. The answer is no. It is not a polynomial function. Because x to the negative 3 is not a whole numbered exponent. f, y equals negative 4x cubed plus 2x plus 5. Well, if we take a look, the degrees are indeed in descending order. It is of degree 1, sorry, degree 3, leading coefficient, is negative 4, and constant term is 5. 
So this one, yes, it is a polynomial function. And that is the first question of the unit.